do you want to create the life of your dreams? Attract the most stunning partnerships, lovers, business partners? Do you want to create wealth or a specific lifestyle? Well, today I'm going to reveal not only a couple of things that you can do, but I'm going to reveal one thing that you absolutely must never do. So you see, to understand the number one mistake that people make when it comes to trying to attract things to their life is that they're vibrating at the wrong frequency. They're wanting to attract wealth, but they're doing it from a lack mentality. You will never attract wealth as long as your mentality or the frequency you're vibrating at is poverty. If you're vibrating at the level of poverty, you will not attract wealth to your life. I'm not saying, listen, a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. People hit the lotto or things like that. That sort of thing occasionally happens. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about really creating something. I'm not talking about going and putting a dollar in and getting a ticket and scratching something off and you fucking win the lotto. And uh, the vast majority of the time when people do that, because of their poverty mentality, that money is gone like that. So I'm talking about how to create something sustainable here, not just create uh, some sort of temporary luck. I'm talking about creating something sustainable. In other words, if you want to attract a life partner, and I talked about the law of magnetism here, you need to check that video out if you haven't already watched it, but you want to attract a partner who is loving and sweet and kind and generous, and then you must first be loving, sweet, kind, and generous. That doesn't mean you're pretending to be, that doesn't mean you go out to the bar that night and you're like, I'm going to really put on a front and be loving, kind, and generous. And then you you meet this lady and you guys have fun for about 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden she realizes you're actually fucking kind and fun and generous. You're actually kind of depressed and, and stingy. And <laughs> you have to become what you want to attract. You have to become it. You have to vibrate at that physical, physically vibrate at that frequency. Biggest problem is that you've probably still up in this point identified as the body and mind. So listen, if you want to go beyond these laws of attraction and make this whole life artistry or laws of attraction thing easier, then you really should check out some of the courses that I have. Check out other videos on letting go of ego and some of the sat songs that I've done because in all honesty, guys, it becomes so much easier when you realize that you're not the body and mind because then you can vibrate at whatever frequency you want, play whatever role or character that you want, but you're never identified in it. So here's the thing. Contentment is the key to not sabotaging what you want. Now, I know you're probably like, ah, he just told me the other day that burning desire was the key. Now you're telling me contentment? Yes, 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 yes. Contentment and burning desire are not at odds with one another. Matter of fact, I would dare say burning desire flows really effortlessly well from contentment. So just hear me out. Listen to what I've got to say. This is really important. If you... Because if you don't listen to this video, you will without fail sabotage what you're trying to create. In order, in order to change, in order to attract what you want, you have to change your mindset from need to gratitude. This is the first step. Change your mindset from I need this to gratitude. Again, like I said in the burning desire video, you don't want to be have a burning desire from a place of lack. I need this. I need this. Because there's this old saying that it goes like this. I believe it was in the book of Job in the Bible. It says, the thing a man fears comes upon him. The thing that you vibrate at, if you're vibrating at a fear, uh, if you're vibrating at fear, at a frequency of fear, you're afraid, or it's coming from a place of lack, I don't have, I won't have, those sorts of frequencies, then you actually those things that you're vibrating at come upon you. And so you can have written down, I want to uh, find the love of my life, or I want to have a billion dollars by my 28th birthday, or whatever bullshit like that. But, first of all, those aren't very specific. But if you have written those down, and those are what you really want to create, but you're over here, and you're in your subconscious, you're going, I just don't think, I just don't, I'm just afraid that I won't have it. Here's the number one thing that I run into. The number one reason why people sabotage their existence. Listen, um, when I'm working with somebody on creating the body of their dreams, so they're like, 
I want to create the body of my dreams. So I have them write down very specific goals that they want to create for their body. And I have them begin to learn to sear in your mind the image of the body that you want to create. And so a couple steps that you can do is you take a picture, put it on the background of your phone, staple it somewhere, put it on your computer, place it on your devices. You're trying to sear in your imagination, in your mind, the image of what you want your body to look like. And then secondly, you have very specific goals in place. And those goals or dream lines will actually keep you from sabotaging it to a certain degree. The problem is this, that a lot of people are like, well, when they go to, to weigh on the scale, they say, well, I'm just scared. I'm nervous that I won't weigh what I want to weigh. Or I'm not going to set really crazy goals because I'm really afraid that I won't achieve them. This is paradoxical intent. In other words, what you're actually doing is you're sabotaging yourself with that doubt, with that fear. The thing you fear will come upon you. You must overcome the fear. So you must change the number one way, the easiest way to do this is you change your mindset from uh, need to gratitude. You don't need to weigh 115 pounds. Instead of needing to weigh that, start practicing gratitude. Start finding things to be thankful for. So I want you right now, step number two, write down three things that you're thankful for. Right now, write down, go ahead, pause the video. What are you, what are you waiting for? Pause the video, write down three things you're thankful for. All right, you got it? Okay, are these three things already within your possession? Odds are, matter of fact, I'm almost 100% sure that the three things that you wrote down are already in your possession. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my, my health. I'm thankful. These are things that are already in your possession. But when I'm talking about practicing gratitude, what I'm actually talking about is practicing being thankful for what's already yours in your imagination. Yes, this is the key. This is the key. In order for your what's in your mind to be transmuted into its physical equivalent, you have to have it seared into your mind and begin to practice gratitude or thankfulness for it. Listen to what I'm saying right now. As long as you're afraid that you won't get it, you will, you're sabotaging your existence. As long as you're like, man, this stuff just keeps on happening to me. I just don't think I'm going to get it. I just don't know. I know I have this desire for it, but I just don't know. As a man believeth in his heart, so is he. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed and say to this mountain, be cast into the sea. The, uh, the idea here is to see it so clearly in your imagination, in your mind. What I tell all my clients is this. Can you see it? Yes. Can you feel it? Yes. Then it's already yours. Start being thankful for it. Every single day, I'm thankful that I weigh, I'm thankful for this body. Have the picture of it in your mind that I weigh 128 pounds. I'm thankful for this. I feel great. I feel wonder. I feel sexy. I'm so thankful for this business partnership. I'm thankful for the lover that I've attracted. I'm thankful for the money that's in my bag. I'm so thankful and start to vibrate at that frequency. I'm thankful for that billion dollars and start to really feel the way it feels to have the one billion dollars and be thankful for it. This is the secret. Because as long as you're just thankful for what you already possess, you're going to actually repel the things you want to create or attract. Now, third step is just to begin to feel that thankfulness. Now, I say it's easy, but to really, f this is a practice to begin to feel sexy. You're weighing 180 pounds and you want to weigh 140 pounds and to feel like you already weigh that 140 and that you already feel sexy. It's hard to feel sexy at 180 pounds while, you know, it's almost like you're pretending. But what you're actually doing is you're searing in your imagination this idea, this concept that this is what you have, this is what you weigh, this is who you are. And I'm thankful for this because I see it, I know it's mine. This is the trick. I see it, I know it's mine. I want you to say that right now. I see it, I can see it, so I know that it's mine. I can feel it, so I know that it's mine. I weigh, I'm thankful that I weigh 140 pounds. Say it. I'm thankful that I have whatever your specific goal was. I'm thankful for this. I have this. It's within my possession right now. And uh, this is the key. This is absolutely the key. Don't get caught in fear 
and doubt. And the number one way, the best way to make sure that you don't become afraid, start to doubt and sabotage what you want to create is to practice the art of gratitude, of gratitude inside of your imagination. Just because these thoughts have not yet transmuted into their physical equivalent does not mean they're not yours. If they're in your mind and you can see them clearly, they are already yours. I love you so much, man. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I know you will, because you're amazing. Listen, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Click the, click the bell for notifications, and, uh, and be sure to drop comments, questions below. Like the video, share it with your friends. I hope to talk to you soon, guys. Be on the lookout for the next video. Peace.